So we are going to start out seated. So let's start out seated. You will need your yoga blanket on your yoga mat. And so we're going to start out seated because we are going to do a little bit of alternate nostril breathing to start. So when you sit, you're going to bring up one hand, place two fingers on the bridge of the nose. You're going to either use your ring finger, your baby finger, and your thumb. Inhale through both nostrils. Close the right side, exhale out the left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close, exhale, inhale left, close, exhale right, inhale, close, exhale, inhale, close, exhale, inhale, close, exhale. Five more rounds, inhale on your own, close and then exhale, continue. All right, complete your last round. And you wanna make sure that you exhale out the left nostril to finish. Good, awesome. All right, so what that does is it balances breath through the breathing, which is a big deal because oftentimes we tend to dominate one side of the breath or one side of breathing through the nostrils. So we balance it. It also makes a connection to the right and left sides of the brain. So you are much more integrated when you do alternate nostril breathing. There's huge benefits to it. I highly recommend it before you meditate. All right, it's coming up into a crawling position. From here, we're gonna release back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale. We're gonna press back into down dog and hold down dog, hold down dog. Adjust my camera. Keep your breathing even. Good, and then from there, you drop back down onto the knees, release back. Inhale forward, shift forward and lower. Inhale, lift, cobra, breathely pause. And then exhale, down dog again. And we're gonna take a few breaths. Alternate nostril breathing. Imagine that you're still able to do that without closing the nostril. Inhale through the left. Exhale out the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale out the left. Inhale left. Feel that exhale removing and leaving out to the right. Inhale right. Exhale left. And then drop back down onto your knees and release back. 
Inhale forward, exhale lower, inhale lift, exhale down dog. Step your right leg forward for a lunge and drop your knee. Good. So we're stepping forward and you're dropping your knee. Good. And then curl your toes under and release back. Good. And then go forward again. Shift forward. Then opening up to the side. So you're going to turn your torso towards the front leg. Open. Good. Swing the arm around and step back. Down dog. Now step the left leg forward. Lunge. Drop the back knee. Shift your weight forward. Good. And then shift back, curl your toes under and that foot comes up, pause. From there, we shift forward again. So you're gonna go forward back into that half lunge and then open up to the side so then you open so you turn your torso to the side swing the arm around step back down dog good shift forward plank and then lower lift up bhujanasana and then take it back down dog. Good, hold it there. And again, you bring awareness back into your nasal breathing. You only wanna breathe through the nose, okay? You're not letting mouth breathing happen. Imagine that you're doing alternate nostril breath, so awareness with the mind, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. And you continue with that. Good, picking up your right leg, stepping forward again for a lunge. This time we hold it in a high lunge, hold it there. Nice and strong. We are gonna shift our weight back, but it's a little bit different. So you're gonna slide your back leg in and then we shift our weight back. So when you shift back, you have a couple options here. So you can use a couple blocks. I have to, cause I pulled my hamstring again. So you come up on the block and straighten both legs. But I want you to lift the toes. So on that front foot, you're lifting your toes. So it's kind of like what we just did from the half lunge, but now straight leg. Yep. And then forward. So you release forward back into that lunge. And now we turn the torso towards the front leg. Swing the arm around and step back down dog. Now your left leg steps forward, high lunge. Hold it there, super strong. Super strong. Good. 
Good. And then we pull the back leg in. So slide it in a little bit. Same thing. You can use two blocks. Straighten both legs. You want to move the left hip back and your right hip forward. And then lift your toes. You want to make sure you're doing nostril breathing. And if it's difficult for you, take the tip of the tongue and place it on the roof of the mouth behind the two front teeth. Lift the toes on that left foot. And then release from there. We go back into that high lunge and then rotate the torso towards the front leg, reach. Swing the arm around and step back, down dog. Shift forward plank, modify to the knees if you need to, otherwise lower, lift. Take it back, down dog. All right, holding it in down dog. And again, alternate nostril breathing, but you're doing it with the mind. You keep your nose breathing through the nose, no mouth breathing. Inhale through the left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Do it again. Inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. Picking up your right leg, stepping forward for warrior one and rising up. So now we move up a little bit higher. Keep your back heel down, unlike the lunges. Open up the heart. Drop through the front knee, open up. Try your right hip back, left hip forward. Good. Good, now we are gonna shift our weight back a little bit, but we're gonna change the arms. So you're going to interlace your fingers behind you and drop the torso down. So your legs are now straight. Drop the torso down, relax your head. Now, if you have to bring your back leg in a little bit, that's fine. Drop your head. And then release out of that. Bend the knee again, come back up into warrior one. Bend the knee. Good, and then we drop down so that we can turn the torso towards the front leg. So you might need a block, that's fine. And you rotate. Back heel is down. You're turning the torso towards your front leg, good. That looks nice, you guys. Keep reaching that arm upward. Rotate the torso, open it up, draw the navel in and see if you could get a little more rotation. Swing your arm around and step back down dog. Step the left leg forward now. Again, warrior one, reach. Left leg forward, draw the left hip back, right hip forward. Open up. Bend that knee. Open the heart. Nice. Good, and then we reach, straighten the leg. Pull the back leg in a little bit. Again, interlace your fingers behind you, lift the arms up off the body, drop the torso forward, right over the front leg, release your head. Mm -hmm. 
nostril breathing only. Then bending that knee, lifting up the torso, come back up into warrior one. Reach, adjust your feet if you need to. Open up. And then using a block, if you need it, you're gonna take the block to the floor. Your right hand comes down onto the block. Turn the torso towards that left leg. Keep your back leg strong. Nostril breathing. You could take the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth behind the two front teeth. Swing the arm around, step back into down dog. Shifting forward into plank, modify to the knees if you need to, lower, lift, and take it back down dog. And again, we go into alternate nostril breathing with the mind. Inhale through the left nostril, exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left. Keep that going. Focus your attention on the breath. One more full cycle. Good, and then from there, picking up the right leg and we step forward. So we're gonna step forward for Parvrita Trikonasana. So you might need a block and you open up. So we start out with the torso, just flat forward, draw your right hip back, right hip back, left hip forward. So you square your hips, that pelvis is even on top. Okay, so if you're using a block, there it is. And then we reach the torso straight out, reach it out. And then rotate, take your right shoulder on top of the left and reach. Right shoulder on top of the left. You're turning your torso towards your leg. Yeah. So your left hand is on your block. Your right hand is reaching in the air. Okay. So it looks like this. Turn your head to the side. Good, now swing that upper arm around and we're gonna actually drop into a lunge. Lower the leg, lower the leg, drop the torso down. So you lower the knee, release the torso down. Okay. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually lift up. So you're gonna lift, so we're going back into a rotation. The left hand goes to the outer thigh and you're gonna reach your right arm out, reach it out. See if you can drop that hand behind you onto your sacrum or your hamstring and then the other arm reaches up. You're looking over the right shoulder. So we're doing all this rotation. Then release out of that. So you're gonna release out of that and we go back down, back into a flat torso, flatten out. See if this time you can go a little bit lower onto the elbows. So again, you might wanna use a block. And you lower onto your elbows with a block.
Good. All right, and then from there, there's more. We're gonna release. And then we rotate again. So you rotate again. Keep the hand on the ground. So if you're using a block, you can use a block. Your hand is on the ground and you rotate one more time. Deep rotation. See if you pick your leg up behind you and pull it in. So I am using a block. Or you don't have to use a block. Came off the block. Pull that heel in. Keep rotating. Look behind you. And then release out of it. From there, stepping back into down dog. Take a moment. Then picking up the left leg and stepping the left leg forward. Drop your back heel. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going into Pargarita Trikonasana. So if you use a block, it goes right next to the front foot. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward. So you square those hips, get the sacrums even. All right, use a block if you need to. Then stack left shoulder on top of the right. Both legs straight. Draw that navel in. Good, and then we release that arm down and you're gonna extend back a little bit to drop the knee. Good, and then we're going to lift up and reach back behind us. Okay, or you can have your hand on the ground when you're reaching back. But remember, this upper arm is going to come up. So it's sometimes easier just to come from here. So you're reaching that left arm behind you. It's going to go either to your sacrum or to your hamstring. And then you reach the other arm up. You're looking over that left shoulder. Nostril breathing, even out your breath. Inhale equal with the exhale. Then slowly coming out of that. And again, we flatten out the torso, flatten out. Flatten out. And now see if you can go a little bit lower on the elbows. Keeping the torso flat. Good, and then from there, we're gonna come back up onto the hand. We're gonna rotate again towards that left leg. You're gonna reach back behind you. You can hold it here or lift that foot up, pull it in. And then release from there and step back into down dog. Shift forward into plank. Modify to the knees if you need to. Lower, lift, good. And take it back down dog. 
And again, we hold it in down dog. Back to alternate nostril breathing awareness. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Keep it going. All right, one more cycle through. You want to finish with exhaling out the left. All right, picking up your right leg, and now we step forward for warrior two. Rise up. Widen your, your legs. Just you want to use your whole mat. Looking down that middle right finger. We're gonna go from warrior two to straightening the legs, slide your back leg in a little bit and go right into trikonasana. We're gonna hold trikonasana a little bit longer. It's a tridoshic pose. In other words, it's balancing for all the postures. Those warrior poses, they tend to intensify the heat in the body. So they're not as balancing for pitta. It's summertime. So we want to manage the heat internally. We're not emphasizing those warrior poses at this time. We want to decrease intensity in the body. Then swinging that left arm around, you're going to lift it, rotate forward, reach up. So the left arm goes up, the right arm goes back. That's going to help you rotate the left hip forward. You might have to adjust the foot, reach the left arm up, and then exhale, drop down. Inhale, come back up. We're going to do four count inhale, four count exhale. You can count internally to yourself. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then holding it here, evening out the breath. If you want to use a block, you can. Dropping that head down towards the knee. And then you can rotate your torso. So we're rotating the torso again, going back into Parvarita Trikonasana. Even out your breath, four count inhale, four count exhale. Did we lose Alex? Good, then swing your arm around, step back into down dog. Picking up the left leg, stepping the left leg up. And again, we're going into warrior two. I'll rotate so it all looks like we're on the same leg. Warrior two, fear of Adrasada two, not holding it as long. And then we straighten the leg, adjust the back leg in a little bit and lower into trikonasana. Hand can go to the shin or you can use a block on the baby toe side of the foot or you can lower the hand also on the baby toe side of the foot.
Evening out your breath, four count inhale, four count exhale, pay attention. All right, and then we swing the right arm around. And as we do that, we lift the body up, adjust your back leg out to the right a little bit, come up. Left hand goes to the sacrum. You wanna move the left hip back, right hip forward. And then exhale lower for four counts. Inhale, four counts. Exhale, four counts down. Slow down. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale down, two, three, four. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale down. Let's do one more. Slow down, you guys. Inhale up, two, three, four, exhale down, and we're gonna hold it. So if you need a block, bring your block on that big toe side of the foot. And then we stack that left shoulder and open up. Parvarita Trikonasana, so here we are again, holding Parvarita Trikonasana. Awesome. And swing your arm around, step back into down dog. Shift forward plank and then lower. Lift up Bhujanasana. Press back, Adho Mukha Savasana, down dog. And again, we hold back to our awareness of alternate nostril breathing. Inhale, left nostril. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. And keep going. All right, and then we'll rest in child's pose. So first child pose, take a moment here, take your arms behind you and release. Okay, so letting go of controlled breath, but you're still inhaling and exhaling out of the nose. All right, coming back into down dog. Pick up your right leg, bring it forward. We're gonna go into pigeon. So you can have your right heel up or you can keep it back closer to the groin, but eventually you do want it up, lined up with front knee, okay? Or for assistance, you can use a block or a blanket. Sit underneath your right glutes. And then lower.
Then from there, lift up. We're gonna rotate to the left. So you just come up. I'm using my blanket. The left leg extends and then we open up. Lateral opening. Breathe into your right side body. Okay, and now we're going to do half lotus. So I'm just gonna turn sideways here so you can see. So your left leg is to the side. It is going to come in and either go on top of a block like this, or you're going to pull it up so that the toes hang off that right quadricep. And then we drop forward into half lotus. Then lift up. So you're holding it there. And then we twist. Right hand goes on the left quadricep. Left hand wraps around the back. Now, if you can, grab that foot that's hanging off the thigh. If you can't, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Good, and then we release. And removing that left leg, you're gonna take it back out, rotate towards the right leg, step back, down dog. Now you step the left leg forward for pigeon. Same thing, you're gonna take your blanket, I like the blanket better than the block, underneath the left glutes, and we're holding pigeon and lower. You wanna keep your pelvis even. So in other words, you're not teetering to one side. Keep relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. Good, and then we lift up, rotate down towards your right leg so you're turning to your back. And then we reach out and then open up. That left arm comes up and you're gonna take your breath into that left side body. Again, nostril breathing. All right, and then we lift up. So again, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you guys can see. And that leg on the side comes forward. And if you need to modify, you're gonna take a block and place that right foot on top of the block. And then you go forward. Or you go into half lotus. The toes hang off that left thigh. And then you go forward. Okay. Good. And then lifting up from there, you rotate to the right 
All right, so now your left hand goes onto that right quadricep. Right hand wraps around the low back. If you're able to, you grab your toes. My, my cord is in the way. Oh well. And then we release from there. Release that top leg. You're going to rotate again towards the left leg. Step back into down dog. And from there, walk your feet all the way up. And then lower onto your back. Find your heels and press up into bridge. Holding bridge, keep your knees in, backed in line with the front of the hip bone. Good, and then from there, lower and draw your knee into your chest. Open up your arms, you're gonna take your legs to the right side. Okay, so it's a twist, ah. And then the legs come up and go to the left side. Your head to the right. Good, and then from there, lifting up. And now we're gonna set ourselves up for Shavasana. So extend your legs. If you have a bolster that can go underneath your knees, you'll wanna place a bolster underneath your knees. Your arms are gonna rest at your side, palms up in a receiving position, shoulder blades, pull them underneath you. Cover your eyes. So you do want an eye pillow, an eye mask, or you could get a dark cloth. And then relax. Shavasana, you're bringing your whole body into total stillness. And let the breath slow down naturally and move the mind into stillness as well. So you can add a slight pause at the end of your exhale. And that will help the mind move into stillness. And relax.
Good. And then begin to deepen your breath, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Very slowly roll to your right side. Take a moment there. Good, and then bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And making sure that you're sitting up out of the pelvis. And you wanna bring your right hand into your lap and drop your hands into your lap. Close your eyes. Take a moment there. We're gonna have a few breaths. And again, we're bringing awareness back into alternate nostril breathing, but you're doing it without closing the nose, the sides of the nose, the nostril. So you inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. Couple more rounds, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. One more round, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, and exhale left. Good, and placing your hands together, connecting your thumbs to your heart. Acknowledging your body, your practice, how it's helped your body become more balanced, more integrated, to reduce tension, resistance, and stress from the body. Moving into a state of gratitude, May you take that with you moment by moment into your evening. Namaste. Thank you, guys.